As a way to save money, more people may be ditching the big box stores like this one behind me for Halloween costumes and instead opting for the homemade kind. Pinching pennies. It's what many people are doing just to get by right now. So when it comes to Halloween costumes, trick-or-treaters are wondering if they should DIY or buy. I just get my pen and paper and I make a sketch and then I go from there. Melissa Taylor opting for DIY costumes. For the last eight years, she's been creating unique get-ups for her son Michael, who uses a wheelchair. The train, then an alien, then the mystery machine. This year, Michael wants to be bear in the big blue house. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make you feel when you have this costume no one else has? Pretty good. And besides seeing Michael's big smile, Melissa says the best part is the price. Normally under $30, which you can't buy, you know, anything like that extravagant, I guess. For $30, you're not going to get much. Several people on the same page posting their homemade creations to Facebook. James Gold says he likes to DIY his costume as well. Typically, I'll find something at like, like a resale shop. A resale shop like Encore in Southfield. Even if it isn't a costume, people that are creative can come up with something. If they see it, they can replicate it here for, you know, a reasonable price. Manager Scott Kowalski says he sees the demand for secondhand costumes. People are struggling with budgets and, you know, expenses, so I think they know they can come here and get quality stuff. But DIY isn't for everyone. I don't have DIY kind of time. Liliana Schaefer says she still enjoys browsing big box stores for costumes. I buy the separate pieces, kind of make something new, throw things together, make my own kind of thing. But whatever you decide to do this Halloween. Always find a way to be creative and be yourself. Don't be afraid to dress up as you want to dress up. Reporting in Farmington Hills, Carly Petras, 7 News, Detroit.